if you're anything like me, you love a good smoothie. I like to have a smoothie for breakfast or lunch or even after a workout. So smoothies can be super convenient and really healthy, but they can also sometimes be a bit of a problem. Now, the most common mistake most people make is they add too many fruits and too little healthy fats or protein to a smoothie. This leads to smoothies spiking your blood sugar levels because of all the fructose or the sugar in that smoothie and leaving you feeling hungry after you've just had a smoothie. This also might be preventing you from actually losing weight. So I thought today I'd take you through how to build a healthy smoothie. Now remember the portion sizes will be different for different people. It depends on your weight and your goals and your, your portions per day. Um, but this is just the basics to know that how you can build a healthy smoothie to make sure you include all of these different elements. Okay. So I like to start off with banana. I mean, that's the basis for most smoothies, I think. And I like to freeze my banana or fruits in general. So I've just cut up a banana into three pieces and then I know that's one banana. And why I like to freeze it is because it actually adds, I mean, it makes the smoothie nice and cold, but it also adds a lot of texture and um, fullness to the, to the smoothie. Now, um, I like to just cut up the banana and freeze it flat onto a sheet and then just add it to my smoothie. If you don't like banana or you're allergic to banana, you can add something else like cauliflower or even um, zucchini. So I'm going to add some zucchini in any case that's also been frozen because that's also going to add more fiber and nutrition and it's not really going to add any calories or taste. Um, but like I said, cauliflower or zucchini is also going to give that um, creamy bulking um, function like the banana would, but it's not going to give the sweetness. So if you're low carb or you're allergic to banana, for example. After we've added that, I'd like to add another form of a carbohydrate. So this would be like, for example, blueberries. Um, but if you don't want to add another fruit, you can add something like um, oats, for example. So this is just to make sure that we have a lot of fiber and that the, the smoothie is actually going to give us some substance. All right. After that, we want to add a protein. So in my case, I'm adding yogurt. You don't need to add yogurt. It can be um, a milk or it can be a plant milk. Or if you're vegan, for example, I think a protein powder would be a good option. Like, for example, a plant protein. After we've added our protein, we then add a healthy fat. So in my case, I'm going to add a nut butter, like a tablespoonful of nut butter. Um, it can be any nut butter you like. Experiment a bit with it. If you're allergic to nuts or you don't like nuts, for example, you can add a different fat like um, avocado or even seeds like chia seeds. Um, it can be anything you like. And remember, within these things, you can swap around and, and make some adjustments. Then I'm going to add a handful of spinach, baby spinach specifically. This is going to give a greener color to the smoothie, which might not make it as pretty as, um, as we'd like. But at least it's going to add a lot of fiber and nutrition. And again, not a lot of calories, but a lot of good stuff. All right, before I forget, we want to add some water. Now, what's nice about a smoothie is you can either make the smoothie that you drink in a cup on the go, which is nice if you're in a rush, or you can add a little bit less water and a little bit less fluids, and then it is more like a smoothie bowl. So today I thought I'd make a smoothie bowl because it's fun. And then also for those people that like eating something and not drinking their food, it can actually be a good alternative. So I'm not going to add a lot of water, just a little bit, and then I'm going to blend it up, and then I'll show you how I plate it. Okay, so once it's blitzed up, we can then add it to a bowl, or of course, like I said, you can add it to a cup and then drink it as is. Um, but in my case, I want to add it to a bowl. If you want it even more thick, I mean, you can add less water, of course. But in my case, let's just use this for now. Um, so then we just empty the contents into this bowl, and then we can make it pretty. So I have a bit of coconut flakes here for some texture and just to make it all nice and pretty. That little bit's not really gonna make a difference. And then again, you can top it up, up with some fresh fruits, um, like some blueberries, for example. And there you have it, a smoothie bowl. I mean, there's so many different things you can do. You can add edible flowers, you can add a few other things as well. That's not gonna add a lot of calories because it's such a small portion. Um, or you can just eat it as is. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. And I would also love to see some of your smoothie bowls or smoothies that you create. So please send it through to us on WhatsApp. I hope you all have a wonderful Easter weekend and we'll see you soon.